Very good morning, sir. We are from Group 31, and the system that we are going to present today will be Smart Home Cleaning System. The components that include in our presentations are Introduction, Objectives, Problem Statement, Architecture Diagram, AWS System, Conclusions, and also Q&A Section. So, the first part of our presentation will be the Introduction. Our group decided to present smart home cleaning system because current smart home cleaning system face significant limitations on their ability to meet the evolving needs of user. For example, the current smart home cleaning system are limitation in the dirt detection, lack of remote control functionalities, which can limit the flexibility and convenience of user. So this whole presentation will be about the problem statement, how our system works, and how the AWS services contribute to our smart home cleaning system. Hello everyone, my name is Yo Wenjin and today I'm going to present about the objective of our smart home cleaning system. There are three objectives in our cleaning system, which are collect cleaning area information, the second one is analyze blood composition, and the third one is enable remote control capabilities. We aim to develop tools to collect and save information related to the cleaning area, including the house size and also the type of dirt present. For the second objective, we aim to implement algorithms to analyze the composition of dirt and determine the most suitable cleaning methods. For the third objective, we aim to have a control device remotely with a device connected to the cloud internet, and this can notify customers once the cleaning process is completed. Without further ado, let us jump into our problem statement of our smart home cleaning system. There are a total of three problem statements in our system, which are limited map storage, the second one is third detection limitations, and also lack of control remote capabilities. For the first problem statement, the current system lack of, uh, has a limited map storage capacity. The user with large or multiple house space constraints because they need to detect, delete the previous map and also uh, retrain the device for a new floor plan. It is very time consuming and frustrating for customers. So the cloud-based solutions offer a larger storage for multiple device houses. For the second point, the current system lack of advanced dirt detection. As this lack integration with cloud-based computer vision for image processing and also it enables to detect obstacles and plan optimum cleaning costs. And this will result in inefficient cleaning and also poor user experience due to the miss spots and uneven cleaning. Besides that, we also found that the current system's lack of remote control capabilities. User must manually operate device without remote control and it is very inconvenient, especially in a large space or directing to a specific area. User is unable to guide device to spot needing extra extension, attention or around the obstacle. So the cloud based system can enhance flexibility and also enable remote control via IoT connection. Uh, hello sir, I am Huan Singh. So uh, this is our architecture diagram for the proposed smart home cleaning system. So they, we have two device, we have two anti-air devices, the master device and also the cleaning devices. So this one basically is the user's device that they can control, they can build the cloud system, they control the devices. So the clean devices and the master devices are linked by this IoT call and they also the IoT call will link them to the cloud system. This is our cloud system. So inside our cloud system, we have IoT call, we have S3 bucket, we have Lambda, we have SN Amazon SMS, SNS, and then we have Amazon recognition, we have DynamoDB, and then another S3 bucket, and then a search maker. So the IoT call will send the device data to the S3 bucket and also the MODB and then Lambda will take data from the S3 bucket to trigger the data, data analysis. So this analyzed data will tell the will, will be sent to the recognition for computer vision process. So the results of computer vision will be sent to DynamoDB and then DynamoDB will export the result to another S3 bucket and then SageMaker will import the S3 results from S3 bucket to perform the machine learning and also the decision making, then output the decision to the cleaning devices. 
So the reason of using another ST bucket here is because SageMaker cannot really direct, proce direct process the data from the DynamoDB because it is really not good lah because DB Dynamo database is a huge thing and pro direct processing on it actually is very slow. So another thing is uh, because now we have already get the results so the in the decision so lambda will then notify the user using SN you then send the analyze data to SNS and then notify the user of the clinic cleaning process. So that's all from our architecture diagram. Thank you. Okay, hi sir. My name is Ryan Maximilian Tiotan. Student ID is 2200560. So today I'll be presenting Amazon IoT and Amazon SNS for Group 31. So to the next slide. This slide is about Amazon IoT call. First, we have device connectivity. So it supports multiple protocols like MQTT, HTTPS, and WebSocket. So this facility allows device to connect to the AWS cloud using a protocol that best suits their requirements, whether it's lightweight, secure, or compatible with existing infrastructure. So offer features of for monitoring and troubleshooting device connection. So this functionality allows administrator and developer to track the status and performance of connected device by providing insight into device connectivity metrics and diagnosis. Second is integration with other AWS services. Seamlessly integrate with various AWS services such as Lambda, S3, and MoDB, Kinesis, and more. So user can utilize services like AWS Lambda for executing code in response to IoT event, S3 for storing IoT data, DynamoDB for database need, and Kinesis for real-time data processing. So allow pro for the creation of complex workflow and automation by combining IoT data with other AWS resources. By combining IoT data with services like Lambda, S3, DynamoDB, and Kinesis, users can plan action and respond and bring automation of various tasks and processors within their IoT application. So is device shadow, virtual representation of physical device, mirror the state and capability of the physical device. So um, we do not need to have the physical device and we just put in device shadow, we just create device shadow. So the system will assume that we have. So facilitate management and control of IoT device. The application can create and update the state of device shadow, which in turn reflects change on the physical device, enabling centralized management and control. It's Amazon SNS as Amazon Simple Notification System. So for its fully managed messaging service, for its managed infrastructure. So users are relieved of the burden of managing and maintaining this infrastructure. So the provider, the Amazon, need to ensure that the infrastructure is properly, properly configured, audited, and secure to maintain optimal performance and reliability. So scalability and reliability. Users can rely on the service scalable and reliability features to deliver message consistently and reliably, even during period of high traffic or infrastructure failure. So next is multi-protocol support. Flexible endpoint communication. So user can choose the most suitable communication method based on the factor such as endpoint capability, network constraint, and security requirement. In terms of variability, so user can integrate the messaging service into existing systems and workflow without encountering compatible issues, facilitating smooth data and change and collaboration across uh, different environments. The third is publish subscribe model. So decouple communication. So um Provision of published message to a messaging system without knowledge of who will receive them. So it provides greater flexibility, scalability, and re resilience. Message subscription. Subscribers register their interest in topic by subscribing to them, indicate which message they want to receive. As you can see, this is the dashboard of Amazon SNS. So when the admin choose the end, endpoint communication is email, and Amazon will send a request to ask the user to subscribe it. After user structure, user can uh, accept message. So if the user want to unsubscribe it, uh, here here is a link for user to unsubscribe. You just need you just user just need to click, and it will uh, automatically unsubscribe. It. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you very much. Next, we will talk about the AWS S3 and also the Lambda service that we use in our system. We will first discuss about what is AWS S3. AWS S3 is a storage service in our system. It is an object storage service storing objects in user-created containers called buckets. And it can store various types of data in buckets for our system. The reason why we choose S3 service in our system is, is because it has scalable storage, versatile object storage, and also it has integration and cost effectiveness. The S3 service provides virtually unlimited storage capacity and allows the system to scale seamlessly as data volumes grow. 
and S3 enable system components to quickly retrieve relevant data for processing analysis and also presentation. And the storage service can integrate with the data process components, facilitating seamless data processing workflow. And it also can store files such as images, or videos, and documents. And the storage service often offer a cost-effective price model, allow the system to optimize storage costs based on the usage patterns and requirements. This image shows how we use S3 in our system. We store image in the bucket, and this bucket contains of four images. Next, I'm going to talk about the Lambda service in our system. So Lambda is an automated code execution on a cloud system, and it does not require a server to run code, but instead it will execute them based on a set of conditions given by the user. And it will trigger the specific functions and actions automatically passed by passing the raw data into Lambda, and the component will trigger data processing actions automatically also. So the reason why we choose Lambda service in our system because it has automatic triggering of functions and it is scalability and perform and it has it is very cost effectiveness also. Lambda triggers seamlessly with other AWS S services, allowing us to build complex workflows and applications with ease. Whether we are processing data in S3, analyzing logs in the cloud, or sending notifications with SMS, Lambda can be a central component of our AWS architecture. And Lambda automatically scales our application by running code in the response to each trigger. Whether we have a 10 user or 1000 users, Lambda can handle the workload without manual intervention. Last but not least, with Lambda, we can only pay for the compute time of our code actual use. There are no upfront costs or minimum fees. This pay per use model can result in significant cost saving, especially for applications with varying workloads. These are the examples of how we use Lambda. We use Lambda in DynamoDB events, so the Dynamo data for DynamoDB can write into S3. We also use Lambda as our image recognition, so we write code in the Lambda function to trigger image recognition. This is the result that Lambda successfully trigger the image. So Lambda can analyze the image if consists of solid, powder, and also focus. Good morning, sir. My name is Li Jia Hao, and now I'm going to present about the Amazon recognition. So, why we choose to use Amazon recognitions in our smart home cleaning system? The first reason is dynamic optimization. The recognitions will help us to automatically adjust the cleaning methods and strategy based on the detect dirt types. And this will also enhance the cleaning efficiency and effectiveness without unnecessary energy consumption. Next, the Amazon recognitions will provide us an advanced visual analysis. This will enable accurate identifications of various types of dirt particles and stains. And the last reason is continuous improvement. Recognitions will provide us a machine learning models that can be continuously trained and refined over time. This will also improve the accuracy and reliability of dirt detection based on the real-world cleaning experience. So this will be the examples of the recognitions that we have done. We have imported two types of picture, which one of it will label into solid and one of it will be labeled liquid. We choose to use Amazon Recognition Custom Label to do the image labeling because this will employ custom label training which can help us to accurately classify image as either solid or liquid substance. So the benefit of image labeling are accuracy. These recognitions will help us to ensure precise identifications of solid and liquid substance. This will also enhance understanding of cleaning obstacle. The next will be the customization. We can tailor labeling process to system needs. And also, we can optimize the performance of diverse scenario. And the last one will be efficiency. The streamlined image classifications and also enable faster dirt detections. That's all for the Amazon recognition. Hello, sir. I'm Gordon Singh. Okay, so 
Amazon, elevator above this Amazon SageMaker in our system, so it can add the machine learning capability system because SageMaker actually is used to like create and deploy machine learning models as well. And then this also enables our system to become automated. Like the decision making process can become automated through these machine learning models, the decision input output. And then this also because we have the sensor data, so it can be feedback, it can be fit into the machine learning models to automate the decision process. So it can automate the IoT devices so they can clean the system, clean they can perform cleaning by themselves without provision. Oh, next, so um, this one is our system, our SageMaker system in our system. So this is the SageMaker page, and then basically we, have, we basically if we if we click from here we have created the data flow, and then we have select the data set to use, and then if we build the model we can get a final model out, and then we can deploy it or use it to for some prediction, and then the deploy model can be deployed anywhere else and get the URL for the model so we can link it to the IoT. So that's all from my product, so thank you. Without further ado, let us jump into the conclusion of our platform service system. In conclusion, our smart home cleaning system uses the internet and cloud technology to make cleaning easier. We use the Amazon Web3 service AWS and it can help us to store and analyze data efficiently. Through the integration of cloud services like Amazon S3, Dynamo DB, Lambda, Commission, SageMaker, and Simple Notification Service SMS, our system provides scalable storage, real-time data processing, computer vision capability, and also machine learning algorithms. Besides that, our team successfully solved the problem statement that we mentioned before, which under detection issues, limited map storage, and also remote control challenge. So our solutions make cleaning easier and more efficient for users. This shows how the new technology can improve all ways of doing things. And that's all from our group. Thank you and have a nice day.